So good morning. Um, today we're doing a nice little pop point installation. It's a short little cable route and the pop point is going on the wall just behind me over there. So this is a, a relatively easy job by my standards. A uh, nice short cable route. So let's crack on. See you in a bit. There we've got a uh, cutout. You can see it's TNS. Consumer unit's over there. That's old. We're not using that. So we're going to fit a Proteus. Yeah, we've got it here. Subboard, sub DB. I'm going to put that up there somewhere. So maybe somewhere around here. <clears throat> Henley blocks. Um, cable, EV Ultra, come down there. Come out, <clears throat> drill through there, up there, and mount the pop point on the wall. So there you see, the first thing is 25mm cable gland. Draw that through. It's just started to rain, just what I need. So draw that through there. They don't give you much room, it's a bit tight. But there we go. So that takes the EV ultra nicely. That's where the Proteus sub DB is going to go. So I think I'll put my Henley box around here. Uh, bring my tails up at the bottom of the Proteus and then come out the top and along there, clip down, down there. Pop points there. I want to come out somewhere around here. So I'm going to do a bit of Pythagoras, work an angle, because this isn't very flexible. Get that out at 45, and do a little loop there, and then I'll be heading up on the inside. So let's have a look, see where it's come out. That is where it's come out. That's not too bad at all. A little bit of break out there on that timber. I'm about 20, well, 15 mil out, um, but not too bad. I like to open the hole up about two mil every time. So there we go, nicely opened up. Um, Perfect on the inside because I've just come out on the wood a little bit, so I'm just going to open that up with the wood bit, um, and then we can get the cable through. Cable through. Uh, Use the wood chisel in the end. Got a little set here, uh, just for this very job, and it is through. 
So I should be able to come down, pin it tight, and then go up in a loop. So now, I'm just gonna take my knockouts out. Address this, ready? So these are 25 mil compression glands. Don't need that. Seal, make sure it's on the right way around. It's a 32 mil spanner normally on these ones. But it's always a tight fit. I don't want to go on. But I find just nipping it up stops uh, when you tighten the cable. I'm starting to gland up afterwards, it stops it spinning around. Sometimes they hold, sometimes they don't. So that one's spinning at the back. I'll just tighten that up. It's always tricky to get the grips in. So there we go, that's nice and tight. Cable should hold. So now, I'm going to dress this with my tails. I can bring the EV up through there. What I also do here now is take this one out for my CT clamp. Cut the EV Ultra too long, strip the 6 mil back for here, and then bring the uh, data cable out here. So I use these little Whisker membrane glands, 20 mil. Just clip in. It can be a bit tight. The cable through there, but I'll just make a hole first. And then that just pushes in. He says, There we go. Time to fix this little bad boy. So I'm gonna go about there. This is 10 mil earth because we've got 16 mil tails that satisfies the adiabatic equation for anyone that's interested in knowing. I have to be careful with these because sometimes I snap the head of the screw off <laughs> over tightening them. Like Gaddy from Infix, he tightens stuff up too much as well. Do you know the thing I've noticed we're working on my own. No banter, can't get any banter, might need to get an apprentice. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below, should I get a, an apprentice? Do all my crawling under floors and in lofts. For anyone that's not seen it before, I'm going to fit some heli blocks. So there they are with the cover off. So you get 
different options, two holes, three holes, so I'm going to knock three out. I'm going to use the big hammer for this. <laughs> so I'll just give it a gentle tap. And there you go. Bakelite, these are the click ones from CF. I think you can get the, uh, the proper Henley ones. Henley's just a brand name. Um, so they're just 100 amp junction boxes, aren't they? So I'm gonna stick those up there. I don't know if you can see that. Now that I've dressed them up. So I'm gonna stick them up here. Schoolboy error. Run out of storage space and run out of battery on the camera. Anyway, here we go. So. I've had to get all this done in between. So connected the earth. Emily box, tails. Uh, there's the CC clamp ready to go. Uh, there's inside. <coughs> the sub DB. So again, I've got ferrules on, bootlace ferrules. That's 40 amp MCB, 30 milliamp type A RCD. Uh, compression glands all tightened up. Uh, pretty much ready to go. So we've powered back up. Let's show you the charger. There's the charger. All connected. So again, bootlace ferrules, CT clamp, uh, which I've done twisted pair. And if we have a look at the cable route, so you can see the EV Ultra there, comes down at about 45 degrees out of the garage, and then goes up. Again, it's the best way to do it really. Right, well I've already done the dead tests on this one um, while I was waiting for the phone to charge again. And I also did it on the last video, so if you want to check out some dead testing, which is R1 plus R2 and insulation resistance, uh, then look at the previous PodPoint video, uh, which should be going up any time now. Um, so, what I am going to show you on this one is using the EV adapter. Put this into car mode. You can see there, the light's gone green. Saying that we've got a line voltage uh, and 248 volts. So, just te test functionality of the charger. So this is the control pilot. Force and error. That then is going into the fault condition. Uh, so to reset that, we basically have to turn it back to no car, no charging. So it's just clicked on again. Right. Now we do uh, an earth error. So it's tripped off and because the earth's been reinstated when I release my finger it comes back on. Hopefully you can just about hear the pop point clicking. So that's just giving me a reading of 248 volts. If I just do the potential earth error again it just disconnects the charger. Right so now we're going to put it into auto an EV and do the RCD tests, so got the green light on the charger so press the test button first test second test, now the RCD is going to go just reset the RCD 
It's obviously going to do this about four times. Must be it, I lost count. Right. It'll have gone into R, D, C, D, D mode. So I need to reset the charger now. Right, so it's now doing the tests on the DC leakage. So again, I just see the red light there flashing, it's gone into fault mode. So reset it by going to an old car, turning it off, putting it back to car, pretending there's a load of 32 amps. It's back energized and it's finished all the tests. So now I'll just scroll through the results. So that's the um, first test at zero degrees phase, 180 degrees out of phase. So these are the RCD tests, that's one times, this is the five times. 38.4, that's quite a high reading at this end, but what I normally do is test it at the RCD direct, so we're going to do that now. Anyway, that's basically the tests on the Mega EVC, whatever it is, 210. Um, car adapter and the Mega 1741 Plus which when I bought it was top of the range anyway don't think it is anymore <laughs> okay the thing you don't see is that I've now got to do a whole load of photographs for the Ozev grant so I've got to photograph the inside of the unit I've got to photograph the sub DB with the cover off um, I've got to show the cable route I've got to show all sorts of different things uh, so I'm now going to do the paperwork, well say the paperwork, it's all digital paperwork for the OZEV grant and the commissioning for PopPoint, which is pretty much the same photographs, but I can't use them twice. Um, so I have to do the same photograph several times. And then I do an online commissioning case with PopPoint and then they update the software and firmware over here. So I'm just going to connect it to the internet now. Um, and then that's pretty much this job wrapped up. Uh, just hand over to the customer. Uh, clean and tidy, uh, give everything a double check, but that's all the dead test done, the live test done, a um, whole lot really, so um, not too late to finish for once because it's uh, only about four metres of cabling, so not too bad a route. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. So if you're in the market for a charger and you're based around Manchester or the Cheshire area, uh, I'm your man. If you're an installer, let me know in the comments below if you'd do anything differently or how you would uh, particularly do it. And if you're a client, you can contact me on the website on www.abcelectric.co.uk um, if you want to ask any questions about any potential work. So that pretty much wraps up this pop point installation. Uh, I've just got the paperwork to do, the OZEV grant, the electrical installation certificate, or <laughs> notify the DNO, all the usual stuff. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the content, to subscribe, like and share. Smash that thumbs up button because it really helps me to keep going and inspires me for future videos. So my name's Gary from ABC Electric. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.